land of ripe bananas and sweet mangoes. Baboon liked pounding his chest and acting very important. Most of the animals did not mind this because Baboon could be helpful when he wanted to be. For example, Giraffe once hurt her neck and could not reach the high leaves on the palm tree. Baboon shimmied up the tall tree and snatched leaves for Giraffe's next three meals. Another time, a tiger cub became stranded in the river where rising floodwaters threatened to sweep the club cub away. Baboon swung over the water and rescued the cub. Yes, Baboon was often kind, but sometimes he was not. Each day, Ant worked hard to build an anthill. She pushed sand into place until her home was just right. But if Baboon spotted the anthill, he would kick it over. Poor Ant would have to begin again. Ant reasoned with Baboon, but he would not listen. He said that Ant was so small that kicking her ant kill was of no consequence. One day when Baboon napped, Ant crawled inside his ear. She marched around while Baboon wriggled and jumped. What enormous thing was in his ear? He shook his head trying to dislodge whatever was there. Finally, Ant spoke. Do I have your attention? Baboon indicated that he did. If you ever wish to nap peacefully again, Ant shouted, you will stop kicking my anthill. From that day forward, Baboon carefully stepped around any anthill he saw. The Tower of Blocks I'll only be gone an hour, Mom said. Remember, Mason, you're his older brother, and he's only five. So please have a little more patience with him, okay? Sure, Mom, I said. Don't worry. We'll be fine. As Mom left with the casserole for Aunt Delilah, I grabbed my book and plopped down on the sofa. Nicholas was on the floor with about a thousand blocks. Building towers was his favorite activity. He was actually good at stacking blocks pretty high before they fell over. Hey, Mason, he said, looking up. Make a tower with me, okay? I looked over and saw that he had built a wide base and was now stacking the blocks in a kind of elaborate zigzag pattern that was already pretty tall. Not right now. I'm reading, I explained. Come on and play with me, he begged. Let's build a tower that touches the ceiling. I'm reading it, I said again. Mom didn't say I had to play with you, but just watch you. I shifted around on the sofa, and when I did, I dropped my book right into Nicholas's tower. Crash! The blocks tumbled to the ground. Hey, I'm sorry, I said. That was an accident. Nicholas did not say anything, but just started gathering the blocks that had skittered across the floor. His head was down, and I thought I saw him wipe a tear. I'll get the ones that went under the sofa, I told him. Then we'll build a tower that touches the ceiling.